Hey guys, it's Daniel here at Sonic Electronics and today we're giving you a special in-car look at the new Asteroid Smart from Parrot. Now this is a very unique new uh, doubled in receiver, uh, part of the Asteroid series from Parrot and uh, these receivers are unique in that they are the first line of completely Android powered receivers. Let's take a look. First we'll take a look at the music setting. Uh, and you see we have our, our kind of standard Android home screen here. Uh, it's a little bit simplified for the uh, in-dash, in-car uh, usage. Um, but you'll just quickly select music and then you'll see you have a wide variety of options. Everything from a tuner where you can uh, go through and uh, play AM FM radio. And we'll pause that. And uh, you can even go uh, play Bluetooth audio from my iPhone. Playing a little bit of Tribe Called Quest. And uh, you'll see it picks up very quickly and uh, displays all the track info right there. And uh, you can even uh, select an iPhone uh, or iPod and actually browse through all the songs, um, artists, albums, etc., just as you would normally through your iPhone. Um, and this interface, as you can see, it's extremely quick, uh, very responsive. Um, you can go ahead and uh, scroll through with ease and uh, no lag, just like you're, you're scrolling through your iPhone. Uh, taking it back a little bit, uh, back to the music setting uh, option, I should say. Uh, we do have uh, Spotify as well, and there's actually a whole host of uh, streaming apps that you can uh, use this with. Um, and you simply select the app, you can browse through and uh, pick any uh, song you know, via Spotify uh, from your Spotify playlist. And uh, if we backtrack a little bit more here, uh, you can see there's also an option for line in. Uh, now this deck is pretty unique in that it features four USB inputs in the back. So not only connect uh, an iPhone through that, but you can also do a USB stick, which we have here, um, as well as uh, really any other kind of USB audio device uh, that you want to hook up. Moving on, so if we access our app list, you can pull up just like an Android receiver, you see your most uh, recently used apps, uh, but you see there's this applications button. You select that, and uh, you can see there's a ton of different apps that you can install. Uh, everything from a simple calculator, which is great for uh, you know quick little calculations on the go, uh, all the way going back to uh, the actual maps application. And there's actually a wide variety of uh, GPS navigation apps that you can use, uh, and you can actually download them through the Asteroid Marketplace. Uh, and uh, everything from just standard, straightforward Google Maps, which you can see here. Uh, all the way up to, uh, there's maps, uh, map services such as iGo and Waze, which are uh, different uh, interfaces that you can use uh, depending on your preference. Um, what's nice about this unit is it does feature a GPS navigation antenna to really help you pinpoint uh, your location and provide more accurate GPS results. In addition, there's other apps like Fuel for Life, where you can uh, check out uh, close uh, gas stations uh, nearby in your area. Also, and this uh, unit does feature also a rear view backup camera, so that can be triggered just by your standard reverse trigger, uh, or you can actually just pull this uh, image up here and at any point uh, check what's going on with the camera. We don't want to have one hooked up uh, today, uh, but you do have that option. So if ever you're uh, looking at any of these apps and you decide that you want to play or pause the music, you can just uh, select that just as you would from an Android, just from uh, kind of the top slide down menu here. Uh, accidentally open an app there. Uh, if we want to adjust the volume, there's this convenient little volume button that's open at all times, and you just press that and uh, select the volume, uh, whatever your preference. And uh, for those of you uh, car audio junkies and audiophiles like myself, uh, you'll be pleased to know that this unit actually features six volt preamp RCA outputs, which uh, allow you to, which really send a strong uh, signal to your amplifier, really clear audio. And additionally, you have a whole source of audio effects. Um, there's actually pretty cool sp car spatialization features where you can uh, help kind of uh, help the unit decide where the center image uh, should be. Um, there's also a seven band EQ with up to three customizable uh, settings and a few presets as well. Uh, and that's really easy. You can go actually up or down 12 dB booster cut. Uh, there's a virtual super bass option which really does make a difference. Uh, loudness curves and uh, subwoofer setting as well. And if you turn off the car spatialization, it also gives you access to kind of a standard balance and fader control as well. Uh, as you can see, this unit is just extremely responsive. Uh, the uh, multi-touch capacitive touchscreen is uh, really kind of a cool addition to the in-car environment, something that we haven't seen uh, from a lot of the, uh, the other head unit manufacturers. 
Um, as you can see when we're actually using the Maps uh, database, you can uh, kind of pinch and zoom just as you would on your smartphone. And uh, this thing is really quick and it keeps right up with it. Uh, we can actually turn on different layers here. Excuse me, uh, different modes. And go back into a satellite view. And I mean, obviously, this is going to be a little bit more graphically intense, but uh, here we are at the Sonic Electronics headquarters. And uh, we zoom in a little bit. Maybe we'll even see my car in the lot. Yeah, so obviously, the traffic works a little bit better for day to day driving, but uh, you know, if you're ever stopped on the side of the road trying to get your bearings, you know, this is a great feature that'll really help you out. Another great feature that the, this unit has uh, actually comes default is uh, the weather app. Um, this actually uses the GPS antenna to just kind of localize your location, and uh, you'll see there it displays uh, the weather, uh, the current temperature, and uh, gives you a little indicator as to uh, how sunny it is. And you can actually click that and see much more uh, kind of in-depth, uh, you know, a little four-day. I think you can do a seven-day as well, um, and then you can see the weather for today specifically. Um, so a really handy app uh, if you're in an area where the weather changes a lot. We're here in Southern California, so not a huge deal for us, but it's uh, still a cool feature to have. Uh, another great feature, you know, this deck, uh, in addition to all of the uh, kind of innovative new features it does have, uh, it also keeps a lot of the same standard features that you're used to seeing in your decks. Um, one in particular is uh, the night mode settings. You can have it automatically uh, trigger uh, a night mode. Um, where it'll be a different color scheme and uh, you know lower brightness uh, to make it easier on your eyes at night. Uh, and you can actually have this trigger based on your headlights, based on GPS, or uh, actually based on the Parrot Unic uh, uh, steering wheel control adapter. Uh, in addition, say uh, you just want to adjust the brightness anyway, day to day, uh, it does have this feature. Uh, and you can actually choose whether you're doing uh, window animations, you can choose some, no, or, uh, or all. Um, depending on your preference. So it's a very customizable unit just in terms of the display uh, and the interface. In addition to all the other applications we've shown you, uh, you can download a host of other apps uh, and they're constantly coming out with new ones uh, through the Asteroid Marketplace. Uh, and for that you just simply click this little uh, icon on the home uh, screen and uh, you can see best of, all applications, or you can browse by category. Uh, and then it's just like downloading, uh, you know, or excuse me, navigating through the uh, Android interface uh, or Marketplace or uh, the App Store um, with your iPhone. Uh, you can download music apps, productivity apps, uh, lifestyle apps. Obviously most of these apps are kind of geared towards uh, in-car usage, uh, the ones that are available for the Asteroid. Um, but there's still a lot of uh, very cool stuff that's out there. Um, so definitely if, you, if you, uh, you know, have one of these units, that's one of the coolest parts, is uh, you know, it's constantly uh, upgrading in terms of features uh, because you can download new stuff from the Android Marketplace. Um, some of the other uh, kind of cool uh, features that this uh, unit has, uh, it does have a, an online web browser, and it's actually pretty quick, although that obviously depends a little bit on your, your connection speed. Um, but here we've got the Sonic website loaded up, and as you see, there's a lot of pictures, and it loads right up uh, very quickly. If you have a, a Google Calendar account or you're a big user of Gmail, uh, you'll really like this next feature. Uh, you can actually access your Gmail account. Uh, you can set it up all through here, and uh, you know, easily manage your emails through the interface on the screen. Uh, and additionally, there's actually a calendar option, uh, which allows you to keep track of, of calendar appointments. Obviously, we don't advocate using this while driving, but it's a great thing to check on your way out the door at the beginning of the day. Just you know, see what's on your, your schedule for the day ahead. So the Bluetooth on this unit is very cool. Uh, you can actually access your phone book here, uh, as we showed you, and, and browse through all your contacts. Uh, and we're going to do a, a quick little test call here just to, to show you a little bit more of how that works. I'll make a, a quick call over to my phone here. Uh, it'll start ringing. And as you can see, Sonic Video Guy calling. Um, so really uh, easy interface to use. And as you can see, Parrot's a dual uh, microphone that they've got there uh, really makes it easy to uh, enjoy cl crystal clear communication with the person on the other end. So in addition to being a very full-featured uh, kind of Android-based multimedia center, uh, this unit is also designed with the car audio enthusiast in mind. Uh, in particular, this unit has 6-volt preamp outputs. Uh, it features a number of audio adjustment settings that we've uh, kind of already gone through a bit. Um, and it's got an extremely installer-friendly mounting depth. Uh, this thing is very shallow, which allows you to install it into uh, a lot of cars that don't have very much room behind the dash. Uh, which normally restricts them from most doubled-in stereos. 
Um, additionally, this unit actually features a detachable faceplate, which just easily removes like this. Uh, it's actually a partial detachable faceplate, so you don't have to take the whole screen with you, and uh, you can just drop this in your pocket and, uh, and go. Um, it actually features magnetic uh, connections here, so it actually almost pops itself into place. Um, I know anyone who's uh, kind of put a detachable faceplate back on has probably worried about you know, whether or not they're messing up any connections, and you really don't have to worry about that with, uh, with this particular unit. Uh, so to wrap things up here, uh, again, I'm Daniel with Sonic Electronics, and this is the Parrot Asteroid Smart, uh, the new double-din Android-powered receiver from Parrot. Thanks for watching.